Okay, hello everyone and um, welcome to this video series physics practicals for GC A levels. So um I've just uploaded um part one of this video series and if you haven't watched that uh, I'm going to put a link in the description of in below and I'm also going to put a card which will appear above somewhere there. So um in this experiment we're going to be calculating the speed of heat flow now this is station but note that even though it's a station you, it can actually be um, a mainstream experiment and in this case you have to carry as many values as possible probably 10 of them or even more and you'll be asked to plot a graph and from the graph you have to look for some properties or the slope or the gradient and and so on so um, this experiment you have been asked to calculate the heat of um, the, the rate of heat flow or the speed of heat flow so it says that here heat a horizontal clamp metal rod at a one end and determine the rate of flow of heat in bracket the speed of heat through the bar so here our requirements or the apparatus here is um, a metal rod a candle stopwatch clamp and stand roller now the first thing that we need to uh, take note of is we have been asked to calculate the speed of heat flow now we know this the formula to calculate the speed which we are going to use in our inference is and uh, speed is distance over time so in this case we are going to be taking note of the distance between probably two points and the time intervals depending on how, what happens during the experiment so here is the setup of the experiment so you have to um set up your experiment to look exactly like this and um, the method we see point a here this is point a and this is point b and the diff the, 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 uh, the distance between them is represented as data x uh, we see that's metal rod clam and stand and we are in this case we're going to be using our, our candle wax as uh, the points and we will also have a candle flame which that's where we're actually going to get our candle wax from so um, the method in which we are going to follow to carry out this experiment is the first step is the set apparatus is arranged as shown above remember that this is exactly how you are going to be reporting your experiment during your GC and I've just received a question saying in which tense can the experiment will be reported and I know that experiments are reported in present tense or even the present continuous tense because there are some experiments that you report here yeah, and uh, you are expecting a result so remember to always put it in present tense now the second point here is say that uh, the stopwatch is started when the candle wax is um, at the point a so here i want to explain it we have a candle wax at, the, at this point and this is actually a metal rod and we know a metal rod can actually transfer heat once you see the rate at which um, heat can flow from point A to point B and for us to know that heat is flowing from this point to this point is going to be indicated by um, how the um, the candle wax will melt so when we start our candle flames here is the metal rod is going to absorb some heat transfer the heat to point A uh, immediately uh, immediately the candle wax at point A start melting we are going to start our stopwatch and we indicate we, we look at the time as uh, the time is going the, the heat is being transferred and the heat will be flowing and going this way immediately we also observe point B at point B the candle wax melting we stop our stopwatch and we um, we note down the, the time we obviously we use a metal rod to get the distance between point A and point B and basically that is how this experiment will be carried so if it's if it's in the case where this is um, a mainstream experiment because I made mention of that earlier what you're going to do is on your metal rod on your metal rod you're going to indicate maybe probably using um, a chalk a distance of let's say five five centimeters on the metal rule and you're going to put your candle wax on it within uh, for 10 you mark 10 points on that and uh, you just set it up here and uh, you draw your table you draw your um, on your answering sheet 
you, you come up with a table with the distance interval and the time so that once you start your stopwatch and you light your candle flames as um, the point a the first candle wax melts you indicate the time on the stopwatch as the point b melts the next point melts you are indicating the time so that you're not going to carry out the experiment like 10 times in order to get um for the mainstream experiment so you need to take very uh, critical note about this point so that um you're going to save some time to carry out other experiments so in this case we are actually um, dealing with um a station so we're going to do this once so if in the experiment you you see that you've actually carried out your experiment, your experiment and it's not satisfactory you can do it again and probably with more accuracy just for you to be sure of your values so assuming that we've understood that our observation basically is what we've calculated we've already calculated a distance data x which is the distance between our two points um, in centimeters and the time interval in seconds so our inference remember that the inference can be the theoretical knowledge that we use in carrying our experiment or in fine in coming up with a result or the formula that we're going to use um, to calculate our final result so obviously the inference we're going to use here will be the formula and our formula here is simply the distance travel all over the time taken and then the speed which we are going to put it symbolically as dx all over dt which will be calculated when we, when we insert our values based on the values that we got above here we are going to have uh, 2.5 centimeters divided by 5.62 here we are assuming remember that in your experiment you are not going to have exactly the same thing so your performance at the practical will solely depend on how you are going to present or report your work so always take note of that so in this case and also take note of the units in this case we have that as um uh as our speed as 0.44 centimeters per second per second yeah so our conclusion here will be that the speed of heat flow or heat through the metal bar is 0.44 centimeters per second as simple as that so here the precaution is that very tiny candle wax were used as markers which melts immediately the heat reaches the point this increases the accuracy of the experiment in general so that is pretty explain and self-explanatory so that is it for the part two of this video series and um, as i said earlier i've already uploaded the part one of this video and it was um an experiment to determine the density of an irregular um, object let's say stone and we carry out that experiment if you're interested in getting the video you can scroll through our youtube channel get academy or you can just check the description box and i'm also going to add a card so that you can access it so if you're getting any value from any of our videos do make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell on so that whenever i upload any other videos you'll be notified so i'll um, see you guys in the next video